This is it's a sort of a real dilemma, isn't it, for the British government? Because this, is, this could affect diplomatic relations. I think that's right. Yeah, my team at BuzzFeed News has spent a couple of years investigating a number of suspicious deaths in the UK that have been connected to, um, to either to the Russian state or to organised crime. And what we've seen is that there's been a real reluctance on the part of the British authorities to take a firm line in response to those right. deaths because of the you know the diplomatic fallout that inevitably ensues a desire to protect the flow of russian money into british yeah. banks and properties and you know a genuine fear of russia's you know increasing military capabilities and its ability to just cause cyber chaos they appear to have taken a slightly firmer line this time because the the case the investigation is being uh, is the counter terrorism police and that's the first time that we've seen that happen that's right. I think there's been a real step change with this particular case. The fact that counter-terror has taken over, the fact there's a COBRA meeting being chaired today, the police were very quick to come out and make a statement about this case. That's very different from the other 14 cases that we've investigated, all of which were treated as non-suspicious mm. publicly by the police, despite the fact we established there was intelligence connecting all of those cases to Russia. And I think that's a mark of growing concern at the highest levels of the British government about Russia's increasingly bold manoeuvres in the UK. So, so the government is limited in its response because and you, it has to come to the word Brexit in the end you know sort of figuring out who we do who we trade with where where the money goes where the how the money stays um, and if you increase the sanctions to Russia then you know overnight money would be flowing out That's of, not uh, of this consideration country. consideration in, a, in a, a police investigation. It'll be a consideration in a, it, and has been a consideration in the past as far as the government's concerned. At a high level but in the police investigation with the forensic examination that will play no part at all but what happens please follow that. the evidence what do you think of BuzzFeed then what we've seen in the, in the cases we've investigated is that, it, that that cases where people have dropped dead in suspicious circumstances clearly pointing to Russia uh, have not been properly investigated now we've heard a variety of reasons for that one explanation is that local police forces just are not equipped to detect the sorts of sophisticated methods being used by Russian state-sponsored actors mm. um, I think it's therefore very significant that counter-terror has come in in this case because they do have those sorts of capabilities is there uh, honor uh, amongst thieves no, in a spy uh, uh, swap there are unwritten rules within the international intelligence community. When you get case officers together, if you've got a Canadian, a Brit and an American and you put them at a Russian and you put them in the same room, in terms of tradecraft, largely in terms of ethics, you couldn't put a piece of paper be between them. The proposition that, uh, they, that people involved in a spy swap are given a free pass uh, forever and are, are not in danger is, I'm afraid, just nonsense. Uh, Skripal would certainly have been offered the opportunity to have uh, resettlement, alias identification and protection for the rest of his life uh, and he demonstrably chose that uh, and he's paid the consequences if that is what has happened. And are there Russian hitmen walking the streets of Great Britain waiting to pick off the next one? What we've, what we've learned is that really since 9-11 since there's been such a huge diversion of counter-terror resource and national security resource away from counter-subversion operations, um, away from, from Russia operations and into the war on jihadi terror that um, we've been told that, that London is increasingly becoming a crucible of Russian secret service and mafia activity um, and that I think that's something that, that the British government is really waking up to now. Um, and so if we see some diplomatic measures to expel people, for example, as a result of this apparent poisoning, um, maybe the government will start to get to grips with it. But right now, what we're being told is that London is really crawling with Russian spies. Wow, well, fascinating. In a word, yes or no? I think that that's a bit of an exaggeration. There will only be an expulsion if there is evidence that links the local residentura to a particular crime. Mm. Thank, you, right. Thank, you, Thank, Thank you both. Thank you both. Thank you very much.